So um, mysteries were a really big influence on the mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow and uh, detective stories that I loved, um, which really ranged from pretty much anything from The Famous Five and The Secret Seven, which I really loved reading when I was a child, um, particularly like The Secret Seven's kind of exciting world with their um, headquarters in um, Peter and Janet's uh, garage or shed, I think it was, and they had their little club badges and their sort of secret codes that you, you could, you know, had to know all of the, the, the rules of the club. Um, so everything from those sort of Enid Blyton um, kind of old fashioned sort of mysteries and adventures through to things like Agatha Christie, um, I really loved Poirot and Miss Marple, um, but also some of the sort of classic Victorian detective fiction like uh, Wilkie Collins. Um, so there was a bit of all of those things going into the writing of this book. Um, but I also um, wanted to show you this, which is um, one of the Lone Pine books by an author called Malcolm Savile. Um, these books were written pretty much in the 1940s, 50s and 60s, and they are a series, a little bit like the Famous Five really, a slightly more kind of grown up Famous Five, about this group of characters who solve all kinds of mysteries like you know, capturing spies, um, and they're all based in real life locations in different parts of the country that you can visit. And they've got like lovely maps in the front um, of, of the different areas. And these books I came to because uh, my mum had actually read them when she was a child. Um, people don't really know that much about them anymore. Um, they're not, not so popular as they once were in their heyday. And in fact, I think this even has her name in the front of it. This is actually one of her books from when she was a child. Um, but I really love these because they had the mystery ingredient, but also this thing about a gang of characters that you really liked and you wanted to be part of and to be friends with them and to sort of be in their world. Um, and they all had the sort of different relationships and dynamics between them. And I think this book, these books possibly were one of the major kind of books that I had in my mind that I had loved reading and I wanted to recreate some of that uh, in the mystery of the Cogworth Sparrow.